Since breaking into the American consciousness with a fifth-round shellacking of Gregor Proska in 2012, Gennady Golovkin has cemented his position as a world-class warrior, long-reigning champion, and revered boxer-puncher. But Golovkin is a fighter from another planet. And Murray's down! Right to the body! While Golovkin's thumping finishes created an exciting list of highlight reel KOs, many displayed the underappreciated movement, skill, and timing of his work. There it is! Passack Thunder Six, in round number two! Seven. And Stevens doesn't look all that good! The Kazakh was no one-dimensional slugger, setting traps for his opponents, luring them into range, and making them throw first. Often, by his intimidating presence alone, Golovkin's boxing skill helped take him to the top. In preparation for his highly anticipated rematch against old rival Saul Canelo Alvarez, we take a look at the destructive power of Gennady Golovkin. Amidst all the underground buzz of his sparring sessions in Freddie Roach's wildcard gym, Golovkin made his U.S. debut. From Golovkin and Proxa gets hurt. Down he goes. First time in his career, he's been down. HBO was wowed by the attacking fluency of Triple G as he bludgeoned his victim in five one-sided sessions. Left hand to the body and left to the head. Down goes Proxa. Fans quickly realized why Germany's Felix Sturm had not been overly keen on facing Golovkin. And he's still giving us all he has. Oh, right hand hurt Proxa. Golovkin steps in and down he goes again. Golovkin gets stoppage number 21. Doesn't even look like he broke a sweat. The latest jaunt over to Monte Carlo saw Golovkin presented with a Japanese veteran to feed on. Ishida had gone the distance with Paul Williams and the fearsome Dmitry Puro, so on paper represented a decent test. Nobuhiro Ishida! A swiping left jab made room for a stunning right hand that knocked Ishida through the ropes and out cold. <laughs> the referee waved it off as concerned officials helped the stricken boxer to his feet. Gennady Triple G Golf Game! Another statement victory for Triple G who blasted through respected former world title challenger Macklin with a minimum of fuss. All right, I expect a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves. Boom. Softened up from jabs and a constant flow of aggression, spirited Macklin was not one to fall easily. A ripping body shot in the third took away his resolve and ended this HBO Boxing After Dark attraction well before time. Macklin trying to obey those instructions, and there's the body oh. shot. Oh, that is the end of that. Oh, those are the punches you don't get up from. You can count to 100, Matthew Macklin is not getting up. No, he's not recovering neck. He just can't get the oxygen back in those lungs. Vicious, ruthless, dominant. Brash Stevens arrived with a big punch and an even bigger mouth. The Brownsville banger had been goading Golovkin in the buildup with crass memes and images of caskets. Obey my commands at all times, touch gloves, good luck. Stevens became an instant meme when his own face displayed exactly what it feels like to taste Golovkin's punching power. Good left touch by Golovkin. And down goes Stevens. There it is. Passack Thunder Six, in round number two. Seven. Dropped in the second round, pushed on to the back foot continuously while still trying to land his own bombs, a battered Stevens was withdrawn after eight rounds. Tuss well, even if he doesn't always move his head. So he does get hit, but... Really hit. hard body shot by Golovkin, and Stevens backs up into the ropes again. He might have hurt him with that body shot. Big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. And they're going to stop it in the corner. That face tells you everything about why they stopped the fight. Back to America for Triple G and another gatekeeper in the form of Aussie Daniel Giel. A light punching middleweight with fast hands and sound skills, Giel was a resolute operator who had fought well on the road. Protect yourself at all times. 
Best of luck to both of you. Giel always seemed troubled by the Golovkin power, as well he should. Even when the WBA challenger landed in the third round, Golovkin landed a shot of his own almost at the same time. The power discrepancy was just too great. Trapping Giel against the ropes, cornering him, and hammering him like that body kick. Down goes Giel again on a brilliant right hand. Golovkin's shot splayed Giel's senses, and he was swiftly saved to fight another day. And it's a third round knockout for Golovkin. That was smart by Giel. He saw he had no balance. The contest had already been decided. Golovkin is a precise puncher. Didn't always show it tonight, but showed it right there. After Miguel Cotto beat Sergio Martinez, a WBC interim title opportunity against Marco Antonio Rubio presented itself for Golovkin. All time, protect yourself at all time. God bless both of you and good luck. Rubio was out punched in the opener and caught with an arcing right hand on top of the head in the second. Such a novel shot delivered by the granite fists of Golovkin naturally sent Rubio's facility scrambling and his evening was terminated. Oh, good on Hard uppercut by Golovkin. Momentarily wobbled Rubio. Now he's got him pinned against the ropes. Let's see how he varies here. Predator at work. Down goes Rubio. Second round knockout. He didn't make it up. It was only a matter of time. It's always just a matter of time. Rugged Brit Martin Murray had a reputation as a tough guy who could brawl with anyone, but struggled to get over the line in big fights. We're having a clean match, okay? Good luck. God bless you. Golovkin appeared to have found the measure of Murray in the fourth when he dropped his opponent twice with raking body assaults. But Golovkin is a fighter from another planet. And Murray's down! Right to the body! Murray sucked up the punishment and held on until the tenth, when he was dropped again. Golovkin again throwing from all sorts of angles, angles that he's invented, and finally Murray is there. Triple G eventually secured the win in the 11th. Those punches are starting to find a way through, and he's called it off. The referee calls a halt in the 11th. Gennady Golovkin will remain world champion. Clashing for a large portion of the silverware at middleweight, Gennady Golovkin and David Lemieux was a true battle of power punches. Instructions. I want you to obey the commands, protect yourselves at all times. Tap it up. Here we go. Spending most of the time on the end of a ramrod jab, Canada's Lemieux was floored in the fifth by a left hook to the body. And, and your feet will always be solid underneath oh, you. Oh, that body solid. Oh, oh, oh. Down goes Lemieux, and Golovkin hit him once while he was down. The Canadian lacked footwork and the ability to consistently cut off the ring. Golovkin exploited this, prompting referee Steve Willis's intervention in the eighth. Good right hand by Lemieux, but the uppercut by Golovkin drives him back into the ropes. The body shot hurt him again. Steve Willis is going to stop the fight. Technical knockout for Golovkin in the eighth. A tremendous performance by Gennady Golovkin. With the bigger names of the division seemingly swerving the Kazakh, Golovkin was being fed more cannon fodder by promoter Tom Loeffler. The show was labeled undefeated, as Dominic Wade was 18-0, but it never mixed anywhere near Golovkin's level. Listen and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck. Wade looked petrified in the pre-fight announcements, and he was right to be. Golovkin set about him immediately, dropping Wade late in the first with a right hand. And now he does. That was big enough. Yeah, yes, it was. Big enough to end the fight, as a matter of fact. The right hand was indeed working overtime in the second, as Wade was down twice and out. Yeah, that was a good hook. There you go. It was the, it was the Golovkin left oh. hand, and now it's the right hand. And that's it. I've read some comments from people on the web who say, well, I don't think Golovkin's all that big a puncher. What yeah. are they smoking? <laughs> I don't know what they're smoking or drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Dusting off the cobwebs was the order of the day in this summer rush shedding exercise. Unbeaten Steve Rolls arrived very much in the Dominic Wade mold of opponents. Okay, gentlemen, you both have instructions. I want you to obey the commands. Protect yourselves at all times, all right? Tap it up. Let's go to work. The Canadian had swift hands and tagged Golovkin occasionally during a brave showing. 
Some said Triple G looked older. There was nothing wrong with the sharpness when the heavy shot started landing. When a fighter falls face down to the canvas like that, you know the fight is over.